Hello and welcome. My name is Elizabeth Webb, your lifestyle coach. Today we have an episode of me providing a Thai bodywork session. And I'm so excited about my craft, something that I spend the majority of my time doing. And whenever I start a session, I love to just open myself up and say a prayer, something similar to this. I am so grateful that you are here and I open myself up to all of my guides, all of the guides, my teachers, my teachers' teachers, so that it doesn't end up just me giving you a session, but the whole world benefits from our time together. All I see is health, wholeness, love, peace, joy, and health and healing. And then usually after that, I will start the session. So I am so grateful that you're here with me today watching me give a session to somebody. So before we get started, what is Thai massage, Thai body work, assisted yoga, hence our um, assisted yoga is our sponsor. And what is assisted yoga? What, so this Thai body work stuff is known as lazy man's yoga. It has coined just many different uh, yoga massage. And so you can hear this said in many different ways. And there's the Northern and the Southern style of the Thai body work. Typically, the Northern style is for the layman, and the Southern style was usually reserved for the, oh, what do they call that in Thailand, the high priests, in, a, in essence, the sages. And that's the style I learned in Wisconsin, where I live, it's real popular to do the Northern style, which I've learned as well. So I kind of blend things and I love to bring in the assisted yoga part of, because we can work with the Zen lines, we can follow the energy patterns in the body. So I'm very grateful to you to introduce my guest. And today, my guest is Amy. And Amy, I'm very grateful that you are already zoned out and please just stay totally relaxed. Just be here now so that when a massage, when a Thai session, when a lazy man's yoga is practiced, then the receiver, I'm the giver, Amy is the receiver, so when the receiver is on my mat, and yes, I do like to do it on the floor, I am also trained to be able to do this on the massage table. However, my preference is to be able to walk on someone's feet, so having them on a mat. And we look at the energy lines within the body, so as I go up and down her feet, and I don't know if you can take a close look at what I'm doing on her feet. Can you see exactly how my feet are on her feet? Are you able to see that? And what I'm doing is I'm going up from the big toe, and then I'm coming down the inner side of the feet. And then I do another pass from the middle toe through the middle feet. Are you able to see this? And then going back to that middle toe. And then the last, the third energy line that I'm following is the last three sets of toes, the outer part of the foot. So I'm walking up that part. 
And I put all my body weight on one side and then the other side as I step and step. So now that we've done the three pat patterns, uh, I actually did it three times each, which is ideal. Then I'm going to come down and from this kneeling position, I'm going to encourage her to receive a thigh stretch. So I'm going to be mindful of the inner parts of her feet coming together. And I'm going to be mindful of my body mechanics so that I'm not hurting myself. That's why I've been able to do this type of work since 1997. <laughs> yeah, that's when I started. And so that's a couple decades. And so typically we do things in sets of three. So the first time we do whatever we're doing, it's light. And then the third time, it's as far as I can take her. And then the third time, the last time, we're going to do that light again. So typically what's happening is the first time, I'm going to flex her feet so she can even feel more of a sensation of the stretch here. So the first time we're opening the energy channel, hence that's the lightness. The third time, the second, the second time we're inside the energy. Ooh, and that's when I really give it the all. And then we back off right away. And then the third time we're closing the energy channel. Okay, now I'm gonna stand up. And as I stand up, I'm gonna be aware that I'm working on a female. So I'm on her left side of her body. If she were a male, I would start on the right side because the left side is the feminine. The, le the left side is the feminine. The right side is the masculine. So now, can you see what I'm doing here? I've got her leg up off the ground. And ideally, what I'd like to see is her to completely continue to totally relax. But what I'd like to see is both parts of the front of the hip even and on the ground. So this is opening up her front body even more than when I just pressed her heels into her buttocks. Okay, so we did one leg and of course we'll do the other leg. So I enjoy this because I'm able to just kind of hook her foot hold on to it, and then that's actually helping me balance. And then I just take and put, so I'm trying to transfer all of my weight into my front, this is my right leg. So I do one spot, I find another spot that might be tight on her, I press my heel into that area firmly, this is the second time, nice and firm, and then the last and the third time, closing this energy, this line of energy, so it's a little lighter. And then I'm gonna walk over to her left side and offer my leg. And I love this technique because we can think about doing this in many different ways. So typically, a person untrained might just take their leg muscle and use the muscles within their leg. And you can, if you can see her, and you can see her ankles, and notice her whole body as I just use my leg muscles. There's not much internal movement going on. Sure, she's shaking back and forth, my intention. But now watch as I use my dantian, as I use my energy, as I become aware of my belly. So we want the belly to be 
the movement. So I'm taking my whole body and I'm moving my abdomen. I'm moving my core forward, backward, forward, backward. My whole body is involved. And now if you can notice her body, because my body is doing one thing back and forth, then her body side to side is moving much more vigorously. Now as I begin to stop, I'm going to slowly slow down. And then once I've stopped, and then once I've noticed that her body, now I'm looking at her body, and I see that her body has stopped, but now internally inside of her, she probably still feels like her body's being shifted back and forth. So I'm letting even her energetic body come to a stillness. And then I'll offer the cobra. So as I offer the cobra pose, now let's say this was someone I didn't know. So if I didn't know her body, I would, of course, kneel on her buttocks. Amy, if you would please hold on to my wrists and if you'll lift your head up and can you say hi to everybody? <laughs> Give them a big smile. <laughs> Thank you again, Amy, for being here. Now I'm noticing she's pretty flexible. So I'm going to do this three times just to be present with that was soft. Now this is a little more oops. And then we'll close that energy and we'll offer that lightly. Now I'm going to stand up. And as I stand up, we're going to do that again. And I want you to watch my body mechanics and hers. So I'm going to offer her security. So I'm going to bring my feet underneath her so that she knows where I am. And Amy, if you'll hold on to my wrists again, if you'll bring yourself up. So here I'm assisting her. And look at me, I'm sitting on an imaginary chair. Sit. And as I sit back on this imaginary chair, she comes up even a little higher. Three times. So that was one. So I'm aware of my breath. All right, Amy, beautiful. So now if you'll do a counter pose for yourself, can you come into an extended child's pose? Ah, yes. So I'm going to offer her assistance to come into this pose even deeper. Is that pressure OK, Amy? Yes, she said yes. Hello. So now I get a break. So during a typical session, there is no communication, except for the few times like I've asked her, is the pressure OK? And anytime I feel I need to check in with her, I'll ask specific questions. And then this is really grounding her down into the earth, giving her body a chance to release and open. Now I am going to communicate with Amy. Would you please come up to sitting? Because I want to go for a sled ride. <laughs> so watch me slide off of her. Can you see the side body? Sliding. Oh, yes. And then Amy, if you'll please um, scoot up a little bit. Now as I stand behind her, I'll offer her neck. So I'll work with her shoulders and her neck. So Amy, if you'll kind of just lean back on me. So now I'm supporting her with my knees. And thank you for your hair being up. And that allows me to get right in the neck. So I'm going to place all of my weight. This is my left side So I'm gonna, and, and hers. So I'm going to take all of my weight and put it on my left side. And then I'm going to put it on my right side. One, two, and three. There. And then we can do a neck stretch on one side. And then we can do that neck stretch 
on the next side. And let's start with her left side. So we'll do a side bend. So I'm going to support her on her, on her right side so that then when I take her arm and pull her up and over towards the right side, she feels secure, she feels supported. So my knee is like mothering energy. And my activity in my arms to help her get into the stretch, it's kind of like childlike energy, doing all the action. So we do one side. And then I'm going to switch over. Can you see how this knee is supporting her on this outside part of her? And then, oh, and Amy, thank you so much for just relaxing. Makes my job so much easier. And so I'm aware of the back of her shoulder opening up, coming up and folding over. Ah, yes. And now I'm going to ask Amy if you'll just take your hands forward. And then as I kneel behind her, yep, so she's adjusting herself. Nice. And so now I'm just using my body mechanics to lean on one side and then the other side. I'm leaning my weight into one arm and then the other arm as I walk, 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 up and down, up and down her back. She's aware of her breath. I'm aware of my breath. And sometimes our breath sinks together. So there's that awareness. And then I can offer a shoulder Massage with my fingers. And I can help her come up to sitting, kind of pulling her up. And then as I sit behind her, I'm going to ask Amy, may I have your arms? So I'm just going to support her arms, and now I'm giving her a back massage with my feet. So Amy, if you can just kind of lie back, ooh, yes. So I have an opportunity to strengthen my abdominal muscles as I keep my spine nice and straight as I lean back. So then I'm offering her another back massage with my feet going up and down. So I'm breathing, I'm aware of her breath, I'm conscious of the breathing, and then I'm going to make sure she's secure. And can you sit up straight, coming to the side of her? And I'm going to ask you, Amy, to bring your hand all the way up. So I'm going to support her behind, and then may I have your arm? So this is a twist. So I'm pulling this arm, and I'm encouraging her to twist. I'm Supporting her back with my leg so she doesn't go anywhere and see that beautiful twist. Okay, let's do that to the other side. So I'm just going to step over here. First of all, I'm going to make sure I'm supporting her back. She feels my foot, my inner leg, and I can have that wrist, and if you'll hold on to mine. And a nice, beautiful side stretch and a twist. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Deep breath in. Exhale a little deeper. And we are done with that pose. And then I'm going to ask you if you'll come up to standing, if you could stand right on the edge of the, of the yeah, right there. Perfect. So now, transitioning into taking her body work to another level. So I'm going to ask if I can feel your feet. And then I'm going to ask you to take, your, take my feet and put them on your hips or just below your hips. Maybe right there. Is that OK? Yeah. And then 
if you'll reach for my arms and allow yourself to come forward. And so I'm still asking her to relax. She's still in the mode of, you know, receiving this Thai body work from me in an elevated manner. So to give her a full body stretch, I'm going to ask her to push her palms together so I can hold on to her wrists. And I don't know if you can notice this, it's such a small movement, but I'm actually going to take my feet and my arms away from me. So I'm taking my legs down to the ground and I'm bringing my arms up overhead. Her head is relaxed and she's getting full body traction. And from here, <laughs> hello, <laughs> we can move this after a few breaths, maybe five, ten breaths. We can move this into a shoulder, a pectoral, an upper chest stretch. So to do that, what I'll ask Amy to do is I'll ask her to take her thumbs and bring them to the back of her upper back. And as she's doing that, gracefully, I'm going to hold on to her arm and then I'm going to find, uh, yes, her other arm. And to make it easy on me, I straighten my arms and I keep my legs straight. And then this is a meditation as she <laughs> can hopefully breathe into the upper chest opening. And can you sense, can you see, can you notice how her arms are opening more and more? And can you kind of notice that her chest muscles are probably getting a beautiful <laughs> elongation of a stretch? <laughs> can you notice that? <laughs> <laughs> and so we'll hold this for maybe another five or ten more breaths. And we find the peace, we find the stillness, we find the love, the joy, the harmony. And then I can also offer her a twist. I can take one leg and bend it, take the opposite arm and bend it, and then I'm offering her a little bit of a twist. And then come back, bend the other knee, the opposite arm, bend, 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 bend. And then to even go deeper into this stretch, I can offer her to come back to the Superman arms. And then from here, I can ask her to put her hands on the ground and Amy, I need you to take your legs a little wider and bring those toes closer to the ground. There, now she's helping me a lot as I fold her in half and I want to be able to reach her shoulders. Can you see my hands on her shoulders? And I'm pushing her away from me, going deep into her shoulders. Now I've got gravity helping me as I push, push, push. Ah, now she's really holding on to the ground, so I'm going to encourage her not to hold on to the ground by taking my elbows up and away, and now she's not on the ground. And I can take my fingers, clasp them, squeeze my palms together, and give her a beautiful neck stretch. So gravity is helping out here, where I'm really massaging her neck, and then when it's time to come out, I can help her come down to the ground by finding her hands and find her other arm. And Amy, will you come down to the ground and come into a sitting position? Ah, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's come scoot forward here. And I'm just so grateful for our time together. And I appreciate the fact that Amy 
and all of my clients are able to relax and yeah that's a workout for me and so I'm catching my breath and I'm allowing my client I'm allowing Amy to be present and to notice what has happened and as I look at her I see that she's got more blood in her face and you know aiding concentration aiding her beautiful complexion and Amy I'm just very grateful that we've had this time together and if you're looking for Thai body work you know seek something out that would resonate for you and it can be done as you've seen on many different levels so one of the things that are benefit of and like at the beginning of the show I mentioned it's known as many different things the Thai body work assisted yoga this ending part is also known as acro sage maybe you've heard of acro yoga acro short for the word acrobatic and then sage the last part of the word massage acro sage is how we ended so Amy I just want to be um, show my gratitude that we've had this time together so bringing respect into our practice we can do our namaste and our double namaste with the hands on either side dropping the shoulders engaging the abdominal muscles lifting the chest taking a deep breath in namaste